What's going on guys? Chatty CRC back with you here on the channel. And this video is going to go out to my boy Roland and a couple other people that have been asking about the PIDs on my Martian 2 5 inch frame. They really like the way that the video looks. I said I had some problems getting good looking video. I finally got it all dialed in. I think a lot of it has to do with these Dow 5050 props that I'm running on here. But I just wanted to go up over the setup with everything i'm sitting here with the daughter that i wish i had that i don't have my girl celine fpv that's the name i would give her say what's up celine what's up celine yeah oh. <laughs> you gotta love it she teaches me how to snapchat and i teach her about beta flight i think uh i think she's getting the short end of the stick so anyway the most important thing that a YouTuber always says is... Subscribe. Yeah, see? <laughs> you know what's going on, girl. Yep. Hit that like button. Hit that thing hard and hit that sub button. And maybe we'll get this girl on here flying sometime. Just want to go over the configuration real quick. I, I'm going to put a link up here in the top corner to the old video where I called this thing old and busted. And if you want to take a look at the setup, you can take a look at that. So, I don't know. Does it look old and busted? Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good? Yeah. It's the green. You like the, the green and all that kind of stuff? All right. So, this is, uh, like I said, I got older ESCs on here. So, I'm running uh, D-Shot 300, which kind of smooths everything out. 600 didn't really work too good. It's got an old board. So, I'm running 4K, 4K on the actual loop time and the gyro. Uh, sometimes that works good with six inches too, that the, uh, the, the AK, AK just is a little too active depending upon how much noise that you're getting into that gyro. And we know our gyros hate noise, right? Right. Yeah. Cause if you have a gyro spinning on a table and you start banging on the table, then it's going to fall over and all that stuff. So let's take a look at the PIDs. All right. Before we look at this screen here, let's look and see what kind of filters I have running here. So I have all of my filters turned on on this machine because I do have some crusty old motors. They're not as smooth as they were the day they came out of the package from China. The props are really nice. They're brand new, haven't crashed yet or anything like that. But the Martian alien frames just tend to, you know, they're solid, rigid, and even with soft mounting and stuff, you're, you're still picking up some noise in there so a lot of people these days say oh just turn off your notches and turn this on pt1 on and all this stuff but you know if you're not black boxing this stuff and you're not seeing what is actually going on and you're running an older style flight controller like this you you know i tend to just run without dynamic i tend to run with dynamic filtering on sorry everybody makes mistakes celine I can't be perfect all the time. I try to try to be, but I just can't. <laughs> but I am running PT1 because PT1 is a gradual cutoff of the filters. It's not like boom, done, boom, done. It does taper off a little bit, and that helps give you a little bit better of a feel when you're flying. So let's take a look at my PIDs real quick. Got my rates here. You can see my rates. I've kind of been experimenting with this stuff, trying to make things a little bit more flowy and cinematic and everything. And so no more expo for me. That's kind of moved down here to this whole like set point weight and set point transition thing, which is a whole nother topic. But these are the numbers that is are getting me the best footage right now out of this five inch. And I think this works pretty good with a really higher pitch prop. Like these are at least a 50 pitch. Um, these Dow 5050s I'm running. And I think probably like some 51, 52 gem fans would work pretty good. The Cyclone 5046, um, you know, same material, but you know, they just kind of flexed a little bit too much. So I think that's why I was getting a little bit of vibes in my video. And then, of course, I've got some TPA added into there, so it dumbs these pids down when I hit that throttle. And anti-gravity is set to 5.5. I usually set it between 4 and 6 pretty much for anything. 
and then set point weight and set point transition this is your whole like stick feel and how you can get those really cool like smooth yet abrupt movements when you're flying like that Johnny FPV stuff haven't mastered all that yet and that's why I'm doing this YouTube channel instead of out flying in deserts and all the other cool ass places where he gets to go so that's the screenshot that's the PIDs the video is playing in the background this is straight GoPro flat footage this is not edited sharpness is turned down in my GoPro there's no trickery or nothing like that going on here um, you can look at some of my six inch flights I've got some good six inch stuff going on too it's all about prop balancing and a lot more stuff with six inch but that's just the way that everything's looking right now and those are those pids rolling and a couple other you guys asking and just go ahead and take a look at the rest of the flight here if you want to hit me up if you have any questions and and don't forget to do what Celine says. What do you got to do? Subscribe. And give me 50 likes, and maybe you'll get to see Celine do some tiny whooping, right? You know what a tiny whoop is? No. You're going to know. Later.